Hello friends. Today I am here to describe about the software Pymol. So first you just go to the official website by this slide as I had been shown. After that you use input in invoice number. Otherwise you can use your email address and register yourself. After registration the username and password will send to your email address with detailed information. You just input all this information and download the Pymol software that is the educational version. So first of all I just describe what is the Pymol. Pymol actually is a visualizing molecule tools. It can be run in the Windows and Linux and Mac operating system. It can be used for the many formats to visualization but usually today I am here to describe to visualize the protein molecule which can be downloaded in the protein data bank as a pdb format this slides depicts informations that the protein data bank file how it look like okay now i am just describing about the pymol software when you open the software in the upper right portion these are the information and A for action, yes for so, H for hide, L for label and C for color. There are other navigation tools which are already in the Pymol manuals. In the Pymol software, the protein can be shown as a lines, as a stick, as a ribbon, cartoons, dot, meshes, sphere and surfaces. As an application point of view, you can just go through the file and open. Here for example, I just already downloaded one EQ9 by the Protein Data Bank and this is a crystal structure of chymotrypsin. After opening, you just hide everything all. You may go for hide, that is H for hide and select everything or you may input text and hide everything comma all now just yes for show and show cartoon here you can say these are the two changes chain a chain b if you would like chain a would be red in color so color red comma chain a if you would like to work on chain a so you have to select chain b and deselect and select all the amino of chain b and hide everything Now chain B already hide. So now only chain A and now you say whether it's chymotrypsin or chain A chymotrypsin what would you like. There are other manipulating molecule if you select select cell 01 and RESN means residue and TRP means tryptophan. You also just go for residue 1 to 100 select 02 comma RESI 1 dash 100. The same thing if you were to just go for chain A, alpha carbon, super secondary structure, so SSS, yes, if you helix, if you seed, if you element, so these are the things. If you would like to show binding of the chain in the molecule, if you would like to know which chain bind with the which chain, so you just step by step just go through and have to get information about the which chain bind with the which chain. Now if you would like to structure alignment, so I would prefer just chymotrypsinogen and chymotrypsin. You download PDB file app chymotrypsinogen with the protein data bank that I already had done one EQ9. Here you just download the PDB file as a text file. Now open Pymol software, just file, open and open chymotrypsinogen. In the same window you open chymotrypsin. Now if you would like to align to each other, you just insert the text align chymotrypsin, comma chymotrypsinogen or align chymotrypsinogen, comma chymotrypsin. So here they are aligned to each other. You just go for hide everything and show cartoon. So here you can see that these both structure are aligned to each other. This is just the extra slide by which you just get information about the extra loop of chymotrypsinogen because chymotrypsinogen is just a precursor of the chymotrypsin. Here, the 
This slide depicts information that histidine 57 is part 102 and 7195 as a catalytic triad. And these are the zones which extra blue is shown yellow in color. Now with this slide I just inform you about how to make a video. So first setting up the video just open the PDB file and just go through the text. The setting up to video, roll the molecule, save frame in the PNG format. So after third you just save all the frame in the PNG format. But for making video you should have to have the file in the GIF format. So you convert these PNG file files to the GIF format by using the program X and View and unfreeze it. Okay. Now if you would like to select the active site residue, just select active comma in the bracket residue what would you like and if you would like to chain A, so you put chain A. Now just after selection you just go for the stick that is very simple in the select active site the selective show and stick if you select side chain not carbon nitrogen oxygen so you put your text like that if you would like color white so you just color white name according to C plus you already have a subfolder is active so if you would like to zoom active so you just insert zoom active if you would like to change the color of the background it would be white or black or magenta you just so the bg underscore color white if you would like to change the color white so now here in the chemotrypsin and in this chemotrypsin region, you can see that the all the residue are in different in orientation if you would like the measure between measurement between these residues just go to click measure measurements and finally with the cursor you just select the residue and finally you will get a distance between them and these are distance in the angstrom if you would like to get a better view so just go insert ray you may either in insert ray 1000 2000 so to get a more illuminosity so these are the oral active side amino acid of the chymotrypsinogen and chymotrypsin for better presentation chymotrypsinogen are so pink in color chymotrypsin are green in color if you would like to color helix sheet and loop just go through this this text this color purple ssh for helix yes for seed and these are the commas most of yes like for the loops if you would like to surface representation just open this chymotrypsin or chymotrypsinogen what would you like just hide everything yes select yes for show cartoon and if you would like to create an object so just create object underscore a that is just up to you what would you like just create obj underscore a comma chain a so that is a copy of object a chain a if you would like to just surface so surface comma object underscore a if you color red so just color red if you like green so just color green color red comma object underscore a if you select active site residue so select active comma in the bracket residue and change a if you change color would be in a different color so color blue comma active color green comma active what would you like after that if you would like to know all the thing what you already have done so just go for transparency so here the best way just set transparency equal to 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 0.75 just up to you what would you like now in the last phase i will describe about the electron density map here i just randomly select 1w2i as a pdp from the protein data bank so file and open and 1w2i file you have to download open this file here something important you just t you have to just download 2fofc.map.xplr file by this site after that if you would like to select a residue where you would like to electron density map just select residue here i just select 50 to 20 residue and 38 residue so select active comma in the bracket the residue what i would like and a chain a after that just go for zoom active hide all select so stick 
keep comma active and if you would like to miss so just i saw miss ms h1 that is the text what would you like i had mentioned miss one and comma 2f0 fofc dot map comma 1.0 comma underscore comma in the bracket residue what would like chain a and the last comma c r v e equal to 1.6 if you would like to change in the color of the mesh one if you like to gray so color gray comma mesh one if you change the background so bg underscore color white if you like to change white change the element c as you already had done is a ray you may input ray 1000 2000 thank you